Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. I am back with a quick project this afternoon. I'm working on my swap. Um, I actually um, decided I was going to utilize, let's see if I can get this, this tote bag that I had in my stash. I probably got it at Hobby Lobby and I decided just to personalize it and just put my partner's name on it. So the vinyl that I'm going to be using is this red holographic vinyl and it's iron on. So I've got my heat press heating up so I could get this ready to iron on, but I thought I would show you this. Now this came as an SVG that I purchased from um, design bundles and I kind of took it apart because it was a, it said choose joy and my partner's name is joy so I wanted the joy and I liked the font so I've gone ahead and I took um, a part I took the choose part off and I have already got it ready just with joy and I thought it could be something maybe she could just have like to put her craft stuff in or something like that. So I've already got that ready and I am going to cut this one at 10 inches in width and then about, about four and a half in height. I think that that will be large enough. I think that that will be, I might even could go a little bit larger. Let me see how big my piece of vinyl is. Um, I could probably go like, let me see if I can go a little high, a little bit higher on, maybe I'll do six inches. Okay, so it's a 10 by six, so it'll take up a big part of the bag. And I thought it was just gonna be something simple that I could add into her bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this, get this on the mat. Now with vinyl, with uh, iron on vinyl, the shiny part has to face down on your mat. Okay, and so I'm gonna go ahead and get this on mat and then I will show you what it looks like once I get this cut. So I'm getting it pressed down. This is what it looks like. I need to make sure I get that down really well so it doesn't move. I thought that this would be a cute little thing for my partner. So now I'll have this will be my third handmade item for her. Okay, so now I've got it on my mat. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click make it. I'm gonna put it on my mat and then I'm gonna click continue. Okay, so there is my joy. Now, whenever you're doing an iron on, you always have to mirror your image. So by clicking this little button right over here, I've clicked mirror and now it's gonna go in there backward. And now I'm gonna click continue. So it's gotta think a second, and now I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna click browse all materials, and I'm gonna sort it to vinyl, and I'm gonna see if I could find um, the closest one that I could find to it. And I'm thinking maybe holographic crystals or bubbles would do. I think I'll just go with that one because the name of the the name of the vinyl is holographic sparkle, but I don't see a sparkle in here, so I'm gonna go with bubbles. I think that will be close enough. So now that I've got that ready, my Cricut is now flashing, and now I'm going to get it cut, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I've got it cut. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get it weeded. And we'll see how this turns out. So I'm gonna go ahead, gently go ahead and pull this. And I gotta gently pull it and I love how this vinyl wheat and I the one thing about iron on it's already on your transfer so I that's what I love about iron on okay I'm gonna grab a little bit of, I'm gonna grab some tape just so I can kind of hold that down and I'm gonna gently keep pulling it off 
This, this red is just gorgeous. Tonight is leftover night in this house. I called my husband and I said, what did you eat for lunch? And he said, I ate leftover pizza. Because he was going to take it yesterday. And literally we ordered pizza two days ago. And we only ate half of it. And so he said, I'll just take it for lunch. Well, he forgot it yesterday. So he's taking it today. So I called him and said, what did you have? And he said, pizza. I said, okay. I said, then we're going to just have leftover meatballs for dinner. And he sounds good to me. Oh, my husband is so easy to please. Okay, I'm going to see if I can grab. i got to get the center of this. And it's so hard for me to see. There we go. Okay, I'm going to grab. see if I can grab that. Oh, this is a cute little font. And I know there's another little piece down here at the bottom. So let me see if I can get that grabbed. It's really hard. There we go. Get that piece out. And then I think I have one more over here. My, my heat press is almost completely heated up. So we're we'll ready to go. I'm heating it up to 375. And look at that. Isn't that so cute? I like that. I think that I think that it'll be a cute little extra thing for my partner. Okay, so now we're gonna move on over to my heat press. Okay, so I've decided instead of going with the khaki looking bag, I'm gonna go with this black one that I have in my stash. So I'm just going to kind of measure it up against the size and kind of move it up a little bit. I'm going to use my lint roller. Lint off. This one has a little bit of lint there. So you can kind of see the lint that's on it. Okay. Get you out just a little bit there. Okay. So now that I've got my bag, I'm going to line up the edges with the side of my heat press plate. That way I know that it's parallel. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my joy on here. And I'm hoping that there's nothing on here that's going to stick. I'm just making sure everything's off of there. I'm going to kind of line this up. A little something there. I just don't want nothing that isn't supposed to be ironed there. I want to make sure that only what I want on there is going to be there. So you just kind of eyeball it, kind of look to see, to see how it's looking. I'm just going to try to line that up. And I think I'll do is I will utilize my straps. And there's the end of the Y, and here is the J. So I think that that will look pretty good. I've got a piece of parchment paper. This is the parchment paper I use. You can use any parchment paper that you want. And I'm just going to cover this up. I always reuse my stuff here. Let me grab this strap and make sure everything's good there. And now I'm just going to press this down. I'm at about 374. I'm going to do 30 seconds. And we'll see how it looks. And I'm at two seconds and one. Okay. I have muscles sometimes with this. Let me see how that one is looking. Okay, I think it needs just a little bit more. Sometimes you have to do that, so I'm gonna put it down for about 15 more seconds. Okay, so I am back. I have let it completely cool. Uh, Mr. Crafty came home, so I went ahead and ate with him, and I'm gonna go ahead, and look, it's just peeling right off. Look at that. It's turned out good. Look at that. How nice 
is that? I see a little bit of lint on here. Let me see. Got this lint roller. Let's see if I can peel this off. The black one is pretty linty, as you can see. But hopefully my partner will be able to utilize this for craft supplies or if she wants to have a little Christmas bag or just something for just something special just for her. So how cute is this? I love this. Just sweet and simple. So now I think that I can go ahead and just see if I can wrap this up a little bit. And I'll put this like this and I think that I'll go ahead and wrap this one in some tissue paper. Mr. Crafty came home, it's so hot. He said it was so hot, it's like 104 outside. This is going to be one very, very, very hot summer you're in Texas. If you're in Texas, you know. Okay. So I think I will just think about just wrap this up like this so that way I can keep it clean. And I uh, will put it to the side with the other items I've made. And now I can move on to my next item. So I think I'll wrap it with probably with some Christmas paper but I just wanted to be able to keep it clean here. So I'm just doing this, just keep it clean. And then when I'm ready, I'll just wrap everything up. So that's it, y'all. I hope that you guys have had a awesome, awesome Wednesday. And um, yeah, that's it. We are two days away from the weekend again. And uh, next week, y'all, is supposed to be like 105, 106 on a lot of days going to be hot. If you're in a hot area, stay where it's cool. Be safe. And um, yep, that's it. Now it's wrapped up. Keep it clean and it'll be ready to be wrapped up with some Christmas paper and be ready to send off to my partner once I'm done with all my items. Anyway, have a great day, y'all. Love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.